It's a, a real kick in the nads. I mean, for real. It's honestly getting really, really out of hand. And to be honest with you, it's killing my motivation. And that really pisses me off. Ever since starting this YouTube channel, I have uploaded videos consistently. Uh, it's been my goal and it's been something I've been dedicated to. The goal is to grow this channel, right? And YouTube loves consistency. And uh, for the last several months, I have uploaded regularly three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And it's something that I have, uh, like I said, focused on and made my goal of. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of videos on deck, uh, but this week, this Thursday, is like the first time I'm finding myself almost missing an upload. And it's not because I don't have ideas, it's because of this lack of motivation because of what the EPA is trying to do to this industry, to be quite honest. Obviously, you know, SEMA is working to get the RPM Act passed into legislation. We know there's a lot of large entities uh, involved uh, with the RPM Act. A lot of people have put their signatures on the list to try to get uh, some of these regulations under control, but they're starting to impact, they're starting to target uh, some of these shops, some of these YouTubers, uh, and it's a little bit scary. I know a lot of you guys are strictly Nissan and Infiniti guys, but there is a YouTube channel out there, PFI Speed. You'll see these guys with the, on the Boosted Boys videos uh, quite often. PFI Speed is a relatively small YouTube channel uh, compared to like, uh, you know, uh, Cletus McFarland or Adam LZ, some of those larger ones that you might know of uh, with multiple millions, TJ Hunt multiple millions of subscribers. PFI Speed is relatively small uh, in, in terms of overall audience. Uh, they have a small shop. They have, do have an online store with some uh, parts offerings. One, one in particular is sort of a uh, ECU piggyback module. These guys are into drag racing, performance parts, performance cars. So they earn their living uh, through this industry, particularly the aftermarket and tuning industry. And they were recently paid a visit, when I say recently, last year, I believe, October, November of 2020, uh, paid a visit by a representative from the EPA. And guess what they did? They searched the whole facility. They pulled the records uh, of all their customers that they've served. Uh, they asked them a bunch of questions, took all their documents. And now, long story short, they get a letter in the mail uh, just within the last couple of weeks stating that, you know what, you violated the Clean Air Act. And these are the points that you violated, boom, boom, boom. They said essentially, we could, if we wanted to, charge you in excess of $180,000 in fines. Punch me in the gut. What do you do? Get shook down. $180,000. Small shop, I think they said they sold something like 30 of these modules online. Uh, they market them and sell them as for off-road use only. Doesn't matter. EPA wanted to come for them and they did. Uh, so they said, we could get you on all these points for 189,000, but you could make this go away with a small payment of $18,000 or so. Huh. Nobody wants to pay, nobody, first of all, they can't pay the $180,000 in their own words. They don't have the $18,000 laying around to just pay off the EPA. Luckily, a GoFundMe account was set up uh, for them and uh, the community came out in mass in great support for these guys at PFI Speed, um, donating well over $25,000 at this point, I believe. Um, so that could pay the fine, but it doesn't solve the problem. The EPA is still out there. Uh, they're still coming for small businesses like this, uh, let alone the big businesses that they're going after. They're, now they're coming after the small guys who make a living on some of these, these parts, uh, make a living on tuning vehicles, uh, which makes them more efficient in most cases. But they are targeting folks in the industry, and it's a, a massive devote motivator for myself personally, uh, because what are we supposed to do now? What are guys like PFI Speed supposed to do? What are our, what are our tuners supposed to do? They, they make a living on this kind of stuff. They're just supposed to abandon what they've, abandon their life's work uh, and move on to something different? A absolutely not. I mean, I, I don't know how a, uh, an unelected, uh, an organization under the federal government uh, made up of unelected personnel can make laws and enforce them. Uh, let me know. So they raise all this money, what do they do? Pay the fine? Uh, they could pay the fine, but it doesn't go away unless they abandon their business. The EPA could come back and do whatever they want. And something something that the guys at PFI Speed pointed out is that it's, they're not only going after uh, these parts and the sale of these parts. What they're trying to say is that it is illegal to take a 
car, a manufactured vehicle, car, truck, motorcycle, etc., and turn it into a dedicated race car. Even if you put that car on a trailer and take it to the track, never drive it on public roads. You are not allowed to do that because it, you know, you're messing with the emission system, the catalytic converters, the computers, the intakes. You're messing with the emission system in one way or another, and you know they can link anything to the emission system that they want. However they want to word it, they can figure out a way to do it, trust me. So you can't take any car that's ever had a, a VIN number, essentially, and turn it into a dedicated track car, even if you never, ever register it and drive it on public roads. On the other side of that, they're saying that you can't even build a custom car out of steel tubing and sheet metal and then take an engine and put it in it that had a VIN number. So you can't build your own custom vehicle and then throw a Corvette motor in it, for example. That's illegal. This is just getting insane. We made an RPM Act dedicated video before, but this is just driving me so crazy. We had to uh, address it again, especially now that we're seeing that the uh, EPA is coming after some of these uh, smaller shops and smaller YouTubers. Uh, who's next? You know, some of the bigger ones? And now uh, it, it's, it's very apparent. It's become very clear that they're coming after us, the regular people. Um, you know, they took all of PFI's records uh, the next tuner that they go to, they'll do the same thing. Um, but you know, who tuned your car? Think about that. Who tuned your G37? Who tuned your Q50? Think about that shop. If they're the ones that are rated next and they get all of their customer files, who's to say that the EPA won't come up uh, to your house uh, and find your vehicle? Find the parts that you put on your vehicle. They see the record that your vehicle has been tuned at this shop or that. Who's to say? you're not going to be the next one to get that eighteen, twenty thousand, hundred eighty thousand dollar fine. How many of us are building custom race cars and putting crate motors in them? Not very many. Professionals with millions and millions of dollars backing them. Not us. Not a vast majority of the drift car drivers out there. Not a vast majority of the circle track drivers. Uh, you know, there are a ton of people, a ton of enthusiasts that enjoy this uh, industry and this passion, this hobby, this pastime. Uh, that has been here for a century. I mean, that would mean say goodbye to clutch kickers, to formula drift, to Thursday night test and tune at the drag strip. All of that would go away. Think about that. The EPA is doing their very best to take that away from us. Seriously though, think about it. How many of you have cold air intake systems on your G or your Q50 right now? Raise your hand. Or maybe you just upgraded your intake filters. How many of you have test pipes or high flow cats or customer aftermarket cat back systems? How many of you have uh, ported uh, intake manifolds or throttle body spacers or uh, upgraded or larger throttle bodies? All of these things fall under that category of what the EPA deems illegal in modifying your car. Your car, you are not able to turn that into a race car and adding in a, any of these parts does that. It, it now qualifies your car as a, a race car according to the EPA's definition of this funky dumbass rule. In my opinion only a matter of time before they come after each of us. Picking off everybody one by one to you know help them get to their goals and uh, whatever those goals may be it certainly isn't for the health of the the globe I know that. We say especially when the government is involved that you can follow the money and there's a lot of money to be made despite all of the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of jobs that this will inevitably kill and the industry will be wiped off the face of the earth. Just think about all of the racetracks around the country. You can't have a NASCAR event every single weekend at Charlotte Motor Speedway, right? You can't have uh, a drag, NHRA drag races at a drag strip every single weekend or every single day of the week. A lot of these tracks make their money from uh, you know off-season events or uh, w events that take place during the week or uh, you know alternating weekends when the pros aren't there I just don't think that professional motorsports can sustain all of these facilities um, and they certainly can't sustain all of the businesses that have um, been built and grown over the decades and it's just really unfortunate that they're trying to do this uh, somebody's pockets are being lined somebody is set to uh, you know benefit massively financially 
uh, but it certainly isn't us. It's certainly not the hobbyists. It's not the manufacturers. It's not the, the tuners and the shops that, that make a living off, uh, off of this industry and motorsports in general. And it's just, it's, it's really sad. It's really unfortunate. And uh, like I said, it's a, a major demotivator for me. Like, you know, we've been talking about for a long time, the RPM Act is a good thing. It's a big deal and you should get your name involved. Uh, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. The industry is, is much larger than just you know, dedicated race cars, which is what the RPM Act addresses. Uh, there's a lot of us that just simply like to pull a little extra performance out of our cars, uh, including fuel mileage, but doing so goes against the EPA guidelines. So even if you're trying to make your vehicle more efficient uh, with better breathing intake system or better breathing exhaust system, you're breaking the rules. And uh, you know, you might be next on the list. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to decide. What do you do? What do automotive YouTubers do uh, when a lot of your content focuses on modifying these vehicles? Uh, do you just stop talking about vehicles? You certainly can't buy a stock car and have a year's worth of content and keeping your car stock, can you? I mean... Uh, this is sort of kind of a, a ranting, rambling video, but it really is truly frustrating and uh, you know, I want to keep going, I want to keep motivated, but, uh, you know, I just got to express a little bit of this frustration, a little bit of this anger, and maybe this will be enough to uh, get it out of my system for the time being, but uh, the fear is there now. Who are they targeting next? I mean, they don't want to be a downer, uh, because this is a hobby that I love, and it's a passion, it's been a passion of mine since I was a child, and um, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going, and I hope you guys do, so stay positive, but reach out to people. Reach out to your, uh, you know, your local uh, representatives, uh, your governors, your mayors. Let's do as much as we can uh, to get the EPA out of our business. Uh, it's, obviously, these rules are written by people that have no idea what they're doing, no idea what they're talking about, and no idea what any of these uh, parts or what this industry is about in general and we just need to we just got to push back we just got to push back we can't uh, just watch small shops and small youtubers smaller I'm really small PFI is much larger than me obviously but uh, relatively speaking we can't just let them be slapped with these fines and and then just leave them hanging it doesn't end doesn't end they pay the fine and the EPA is still there you can't possibly fight them in court when the EPA is backed by the federal government how would you ever fight them it's impossible so uh, we got to get to work we got to get to work and save the industry I'm gonna do my part hopefully you guys uh, will step up and do yours too let's get out there and do it